at Excel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, October 2021, question 15. Express 2 cos theta minus sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha, where r is larger than 0 and alpha is between 0 and pi over 2. We need to give the exact value of r and the value of alpha in radians to three decimal places. So just by following our normal formula for this, we know that r must be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the coefficients from our expression. So the two from the cos and the one from the sine. So this gives us that r is equal to root five. And we also know that tan alpha must equal the coefficient of the sine over the coefficient of the cos. So that's a half. Doing inverse tan at both sides, gives us that alpha equals 0.464. Figure six shows the cross section of a water wheel. The wheel is free to rotate about a fixed axis through the point C. The point P is at the end of one of the paddles of the wheel as shown in figure six. The water level is assumed to be horizontal and of constant height. The vertical height H meters of P above the water level is modeled by the equation H equals three plus 4 cos 0.5t minus 2 sine 0.5t, where t is the time in seconds after the wheel starts rotating. We need to use the model to find the maximum height of p above the water level and the value of t when this maximum height first occurs, giving our answer to one decimal place. The first thing to do with a question like this is to see if we can use the first part of our question, part a, to simplify the equation that we've been given here. So we've got h equals 3 plus 4 cos 0.5t minus 2 sine 0.5t. If we compare that to what we started with, the expression right at the beginning, we factorise out a 2 from the last two terms. We get 3 plus 2 lots of 2 cos 0.5t minus sine 0.5t. But that bracket is in the form of the equation at the beginning. And we've shown how to convert that into r cos theta plus alpha. So we can do the same here. So this whole equation becomes h equals three plus two root five cos 0.5t plus 0.464 using our r and our alpha from earlier. Now the maximum height for this, we can see that's gonna happen when the second term is at its maximum. Well, this is gonna happen when cos is equal to one because that's as large as cos can get. So the maximum is gonna be three plus two root five times one which is just three plus two root five. Part two, finding the value of t when this happens, well, for cos to equal one, we need the 0.5t plus the 0.464 to equal two pi. Now, cos could equal one when we, it's equal to zero, but if we set this equal to zero, we're gonna end up with a negative time, whereas we want a positive time. So that's why we've set it equal to two pi. Rearranging this, we get that t is equal to two lots of two pi minus 0.464, hence t is equal to 11.6. In a single revolution of the wheel, p is below the water level for a total of t seconds. According to the model, we need to find the value of t, giving our answer to three significant figures. So we can see that to find this total amount of time below the water level, we need to find the point where it reaches the water level first, and then the point it takes to reach the water level the second time. And in between those two times, that is our value of t. So here's our equation for h. We want to find the point where it's at the water level. So we're gonna set this equal to zero. If we subtract three and divide by two root five, we get that cos 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to negative three over two root five. Taking the inverse cos of both sides, we get 0.5t plus 0.464 equals 2.306. That's gonna be our first value, but we also need our second value. We're gonna find that by doing our two pi minus 2.306. So this is just our method for finding the repeated answers that give us the cos that we want. Um, that gives us 3.977. So dealing with the first answer, 0.5t must equal 1.842, doubling both sides, t is equal to 3.684. A 
And then for our second answer of 3.977, subtracting the 0 0.464 from both sides gives us that 0 0.5 t equals 3.513. So t is equal to 7.026. So these are the two times where p crosses the water level. So our total t is going to equal the larger number minus the smaller number, which is 3.34. In reality, the water level may not be of constant height. So for part D, we need to explain how the equation of the model should be refined to take this into account. So the bit that gives us the water level is the three. The cos part of our equation is what moves P up and down. So to take into account water not being a constant height, the three would need to vary because this is what describes the water level. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.